My name is Pat Murphy. I live in Boulder. The Muni effort clearly has an integrity and honesty problem. Let's start with the occupation tax and end with the transition plan deception. The occupation tax has two components that total about $6.5 million. The Muni exploration is about $2 million, and the remainder is about $4.5 million. Both of those are collected as carbon taxes based on power usage. The $4.5 million is a carbon tax that is not used for carbon reduction, but instead goes to the general fund. There is a serious disconnect between what Boulder claims is its carbon reduction goals and what it actually does with that carbon tax. If you want to regain integrity, you need to collect those $4.5 million with either a property or sales tax, since our mayor has said that the occupation tax has nothing to do with the muni. That statement is erroneous. The next step on the integrity transition plan is to rename the current $4.5 million as a carbon tax and actually use it for carbon reduction today, not seven years from now, which is the best the muni can ever attain. What Boulder needs to achieve all of our energy goals are solar incentives, wind incentives, and a Rex broker. No muni required. You could probably fund an entire department to handle this with just the $378,000 salary and benefits of Heather Bailey. Next, the insane transition plan that crushes four years into two guaranteeing failure. The big green blocks in the transition plan starting in 2017 are primarily unfunded startup expenses of about $37.5 million. Boulder doesn't have any funding for this. No money, no muni. That is unless the general fund is rated again. Honesty, integrity, Speaking of rating the general fund and the corruption of the term honest and transparent, let's look at the continuing budget deception. Here is the 2015 list of the time other department members have spent on the Muni but are not included in the Muni exploration budget. 80% of Jonathan Cohen's time is spent on the exploration, and out of all these with red arrows, None of them are less than about 59%. Honestly, who do they actually work for and who should be billed for this time? The integrity transition plan needs to start with letting us vote on the Muni. The claim that we don't yet know enough to have a vote is ridiculous. We know a lot more than we did in 2011. And here is what the result of that vote was. Honesty integrity.